A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah. Once, when he was serving as priest in his division's turn before God, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me, at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord Unable to Speak the Gospel presents the paradigm of divine graciousness on the one hand and typical human questioning or resistance to the divine offer, at least at the beginning, on the other. The muting of Zechariah seems to be God's pedagogical way of leading an initially unbelieving person towards the eventual embracing and recognizing of God's gift. When we do not believe God's words, we are in a sense muted. For how can we dare speak to others when we cannot listen to God? Unfortunately, only a few of us recognize this truth, and we talk and talk to others but fall deaf to God's message. In today's world of gadgets, do we still find time to listen to one another? Or do we allow these advancements to mute us?